Welcome to Keeping It Real, the largest podcast made by real estate agents and for real estate agents. My name is DJ Paris. I am your guide and host through the show. Today, we have our newest monthly series called Insights with Zillow. Now, everyone listening knows Zillow is at the forefront of home buying and selling processes here in the digital age. For example, Currently, Zillow is averaging over 230 million unique, user, unique visitors to their website every single month. That reach is incredible, and they have become experts at buyer and seller behavior because of the sheer volume of users on their website. This means they have insights based on hard data, not just theory, that they're going to talk about some of those insights here on our show. We couldn't be more proud to have Zillow as our guest today. Uh, representing Zillow, as always, is Chris Lapp from the Corporate Partnership Team. I've personally known Chris for several years. He's a fantastic resource to listen to and also to help agents take some of these Zillow insights to increase their overall real estate business. But let me tell you a little bit about Chris before we get started. So Chris Lapp has been with Zillow for four years and serves as corporate partnership manager. In this role, Chris works with some of the largest and most strategic real estate brokerages around the country to drive partnership opportunities with Zillow. Chris has a doctorate degree in the field of communication and has years of experience coaching agents and brokers nationwide to implement best practices and strategies for online lead conversion. Welcome to Keeping It Real, Chris. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks, DJ. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, we're thrilled to have you every month and coming on and we're recording this right at the end of the year. In fact, Chris told me just before he went on, I am his very last meeting of the year. So we're excited and honored <laughs> that you shared the end of 2020 with our, with us and our, our audience. Um, what would you like to talk about today? Yeah. So today I figured it would be, uh, it would take some time as we're kind of at the end of the year to really focus and do a deep dive on some of our tools and features that have really proven to be successful for many agents on the Zillow platform. Great. So, so let's, let's jump right in. Um, I would love to start with whatever tool you think is, is really important that agents will find helpful. Right. So I, I think what I wanted to do was start with a tool that's free, that's available to any agent, and that has really proven to be really valuable. So one of those tools, that free tools that we have in the industry, by logging in to your Zillow account and clicking inbox, it'll take you to a portal um, that is like the dex- desktop version of the Premier Agent app. And for those so of, those listening, you quick, downloaded- uh, Chris, I apologize. Uh, for those listening, oh, yeah, Chris uh, was out for just a moment. He's talking about the Zillow Premier Agent app. Oh, I think we might have lost Chris. Well, if you're watching us live right now, um, we are waiting to see if Chris is able to reconnect. Oh, Chris, Chris is back. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, no problem, no problem. Some internet issues, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's go back into, um, sorry, let's, we were starting to talk about the Zillow Premier Agent app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, Premier, Premier Agent app, it's a great resource, free, and it's available to all agents. You can access it either on your phone or you can go to it through your Zillow inbox on your computer by clicking inbox on your Zillow account. So again, it's a great resource and it's something that if you don't have the app downloaded, highly recommend that you go ahead and download it. So uh, think of it like this. It is like a basic CRM that you can use on its own or you can use it in conjunction with whatever CRM you currently have. So you can use it if you're paying for advertising as well as if you're not. But I will say this, if you are buying advertising on Zillow, the connections that you receive are going to be directly integrated into the app. So that's where all of the, the leads and connections you get will funnel in. And this is really important DJ for your listeners. If you're not paying for advertising, any 
consumer who reaches out to you directly on Zillow, whether it be through a listing of yours or through that, you know, a consumer finding you on the premier, uh, you know, on the agent finder tool, we automatically populate leads that are for you directly into the premier agent app. So it is very important at the very least to make sure that your Zillow account is connected to whatever your CRM you're using and make sure that you have your email notifications as well as push notifications on to ensure that you're not missing any leads. This is really, really important. So basically what, what we're saying is by downloading the Zillow Premier Agent app and making sure you're logged in and having your notifications turned on, uh, email notifications, mobile push notifications, when yeah. a lead goes on to um, Zillow and, and requests information directly from the listing agent, for example, and if you're the listing agent, uh, Zillow will notify you in real time to your mobile device yeah. and, and possibly send an email as well. Yeah, absolutely. And those are free, right? Because those are people reaching out to you directly on Zillow. And, and I can't stress it enough. I have talked, I can't tell you how many agents I've talked to that were not advertising on Zillow and had no idea that consumers who found them on our site were reaching out to them directly on Zillow. So, you know, they open up their inbox and they're shocked when they see a whole bunch of people who reached out to them and they just didn't even know it. So you want to make sure that you're not missing anything by checking your Zillow inbox regularly. And again, set up your account notifications in the app as well as on your phone. Yeah, this is really important because I know real estate agents are always inundated with email. So even if you right. don't have the Zillow Premier app, you're probably still getting those emails from Zillow when somebody does request that information on your listing on Zillow's website. Yeah. However, if you're like most agents, you're getting so many emails. It's easy to just ignore it or, or just miss it. Um, or maybe right. it you know, slides into a different uh, folder accidentally or it's archived. When you have mobile notifications, push notifications turned on, it's a lot. I never miss a push notification on my phone. So if you're somebody right. like me who gets a ton of email, um, this is a great way just to double, double up on the notifications to make sure that you're seeing when, it, when buyers are interested. Right, absolutely. And you, you know, like we've talked about before, speed the lead. So important yeah. with those internet leads. You want to get that push notification and reach out right away. Great. So, yeah, I would say outside of notifications about leads coming into the app, there are a lot of really great features that you can utilize within it. So, for example, you can easily build out your contact list within the app. So, again, if you don't have that CRM and you want to have something that's quick and easy, you can build your contact list easily within the app. You can also export it as a CSV file so it can be transferred to another platform later on. And, and, and also think about this way, within each contact, you can add any insights that you might have on that consumer. You know, you can update things like their pre-approval status, you know, what their lender status is, agent status, and even their time frame to move. So you, you're allowed to write lots of, you know, quick and easy notes as well as set appointments. So again, this is all free and it's available to every agent. It's fantastic. Yeah, and you know, and one of the features that we found that agents have really appreciated most is the ability to create tasks. This is one of the newest features we've added into the app. And you know, it's, it's helpful when you're on the go, you can quickly open the app, set a reminder, put a quick task on there. And it's gonna allow, you know, it's gonna pop up on your phone and say, you know, at you know, two o'clock, I have to call John Doe or, you know, you're able to build those tasks into your day. And I don't know if your listeners are like me, but when you can kind of check, you know, check the boxes by each task and at the end of the day, have those finished, it feels great. And again, that's a new feature within the app that I think a lot of agents have really used and proven to find a lot of success with. And those, those notifications or, or rather the reminders to complete those tasks are also, I yeah. believe, pushed. Um, they are so this is, you know, it's, it's like a great, you know, scenario where you're in a, uh, maybe you're, you're with a client or you're busy yeah. on the phone and a, a notification comes in, you can easily navigate to the app, uh, set a reminder, and then Zillow's going to, going to sort of take it from there and remind you at that time. Yeah. And, and on top of that, you can really think of the app as a communication hub for all client correspondence, because you're able to send emails back and forth to clients as well as text messages. 
messages. So it really allows everything to be centralized into one place, into one free platform. So again, I wanna stress it's free and it's available for everybody. Highly recommend using it if you don't have a CRM. Yeah, and, and even if you do have a CRM, it, it's still great just even for the notifications from when people yeah. are interested in, in Zillas. Definitely download the Premier Agent app from your respected app store. Um, let's, yeah. let's switch gears. I would love yeah. to uh, spend some time talking about other features that Zillow offers that are helpful yeah. for agents. So uh, yeah, as I was thinking through features that would be really helpful for your listeners, the one that immediately came top of mind was my agent. And I think we've briefly touched on this, but I want to kind of do a deep dive so that you know the listeners really get a good sense of what my agent is and the power that can be utilized in it. So it's quickly become one of the favorite features. And this is for paying agents. So I just wanna be clear, my agent is a feature that's available for agents who are paying for advertising on Zillow. And it's integrated directly into the Premier Agent app that we were just talking about. So. Uh, to give a little background on what this feature is, our data team, so get this, our data team found that once a consumer submits their first inquiry on Zillow, John Doe goes on, clicks on 123 Main Street, says he's interested, they are going to revisit our site on average 27 out of the following 30 days wow. and look on average at 77 homes. So, because of this, and a lot of agents intuit this, a lot of agents kind of think that this is the case. We didn't want the consumer to be connected with a different agent every single time, right? right. It's a bad experience for both the agent and the consumer. And I think some agents have been a little gun shy about jumping onto Zillow because they're afraid that, oh, well, this person's probably reached out to 15 other people before they connected with me. Because they've they've and shown interest in other properties, and so they might have talked. I gotcha. Agent. Oh, I think you cut out a little bit, DJ. Uh, yeah, I, I was I was saying that um, the yeah. what, what we're talking about is somebody who is is looking at the average person's looking at seventy seven homes over thirty days. They might be reaching out to many different realtors because they're looking at different listings, you're connecting them with the listing agent. So all of a sudden now that person's talking to multiple realtors. Yeah. Exactly. Right. And so this is where my agent creates a solve for this because once the consumer reaches out on a property, we automatically form what we call a, my agent relationship. And we do this with the agent and the consumer. So what this means is for the automatically for the next 30 days from that initial reach out, each time the consumer reaches out on a home, they're connected with the first agent that they were first connected with on Zillow. So, and, and as their agent, you are able to not only be connected with them directly, but you're able to see homes that they're saving on their Zillow consumer account. So this is going to help equip you to better know what they're looking for and provide that best possible experience. So again, so, huge tool. Yeah, this is really this is really significant. So if you are a paid advertiser, uh, if you're paying yeah. for 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 those services with Zillow, whenever uh, um, you have established a relationship or a contact with with uh, a, you know a, a consumer, then as they continue to navigate through Zillow's website over the next thirty days. Uh, that you will you will be able to see their activity, but also it is not being sent to any other agent. It is only being shared with you. Yeah, yeah, and we do that for thirty days, and after that initial connection. So when you first make that connection with John Doe, if you go ahead and text them through the app using you know one of uh, one of our text templates, or you know just sending them your own text through the app, or even show them a recommended home, and I'm going to talk to you about that in a second we will automatically add 30 days onto the my agent relationship through one communication back and forth. So with one correspondence with a consumer, you're automatically getting 60 days of a my agent relationship. It's awesome. Yeah. Now, outside of those, you know, 30 day, 60 day time periods, we also give the agent the opportunity to form a what we call a long-term my agent relationship with the consumer. 
And the way that they do this is simply by sending what we, we call like a my agent friend request. Um, and this allows, if, if the consumer accepts it, it will give that my agent relationship for an entire year. Wow. So just think about that. If you make that connection with the consumer, every time they go onto the platform, it's like they are directly connected with you, the agent. It's a great, great feature. Agents love it. And it's also something you can really establish pretty early on in the relationship yep. with a customer. Say, hey, by the way, I'm going to be sending you um, this you know, long-term my agent request. And this way, I will just be in the loop with everything that you do. And you'll only have one person to talk to about all of your real estate needs, et cetera. Yep. Yeah, and, and think of it even this way. You know, we measure everything at Zillow. And one of the things that we've measured is that even after a consumer purchases a home, they still keep coming back to the site to look at homes, believe it or not, right? And throughout the home buying journey, you know, they've probably created several yeah. saved search campaigns. Right. And they don't turn those off after they buy. Right. Right. They keep those tab. They want to keep tab on, you know, what homes are selling for in the area, you know, what, you know, what different houses are doing. And as their agent, they're going to, as you're, as working with them, they're going to continue to receive buyer activity emails on a regular basis. So what this means is they're going to give a snapshot of what these agents, you know, what, what the consumers are looking at, what they're t spending time exploring, so that as the agent, you are able to see those things and really have a good sense on continuing to find ways to build relationship with that uh, client of yours, right? And right. as you know, as well as everyone else, uh, keeping up with past clients is really one of the best ways to get new clients. Yeah. So again, we just help the, the agent by giving them those uh, insight emails into what their consumers, what their clients are continuing to search for on Zillow, even after a transaction. Great. Yeah. Now, and I, I, as we kind of just do this deep dive, one other important tool within the My Agent relationship is the recommended homes feature that I mentioned earlier. Right. So this is going to be exactly like the tool that many use in the MLS, right? Anytime a new client you get a new client, you might set them up on, you know, a drip campaign, right? Within their search parameters. Right. So this is going to function like that, but the best part is you don't have to set anything up. It's all going to be based on the client's personalized profile and it's gonna sync similar homes in the app so that you can recommend them to your client. So what, what our system is doing is seeing the homes that the consumer's looking at and finding commonalities and then sending them to you, the agent, and saying, hey, here's a list of homes based on your client search that we recommend that they look at. And so you can go ahead and text them directly through the app and say, hey, have you looked at this one? Have you seen this home? Again, it's plug and play. You really can't go wrong. And you know, email drip campaigns are fine, as, you know, as I mentioned. But the difference is, this is a text message, right? And it's going to be that immediate look that's really going to be helpful. So, you know, what we found is that, you know, consumers are much more likely to look at a text than an email. Right. And they are four more times likely to respond. So again, text is the name of the game. And our recommended homes feature within the My Agent relationship is a great tool to use for agents to continue to build that rapport with they, with their clients. So we, we've talked uh, already about the Premier Agent app as well as yep. the My Agent uh, tool and recommended homes yep. feature. Um, do you have any other features that, that you think agents should be part checking out? Yeah, so we've talked a little bit about the best of Zillow feature. I know you and I have touched on that a little bit. Like the My Agent feature, Best of Zillow is only going to be available for Zillow Premier agents. And, and I, I want to take a few minutes to kind of deep dive on that Best of Zillow. So uh, think of it this way. I'm sure that most listeners have taken at some point in their life here an, an Uber or a Lyft ride, right? right? And they've probably noticed at the end of the journey that they receive a quick survey on their phone asking them what their experience was with the driver, right? 
Yep. We took that same concept and now we're applying it directly to anyone you connected with on Zillow. So I know that for some agents, the idea of it can feel a little daunting, right? To be graded so quickly on a relationship with a new client. But I want to stress that it's 100% private and can only be seen by yourself. And well, if you're on a team, it could be potentially seen by your team lead, right? But it's really between you so that you can get that feedback on maybe what you're doing well and maybe what you could improve upon. So it's really meant to enhance the home buying experience for future clients and giving you that real time feedback about how you're interacting with consumers. So it's gonna give you that visibility into strengths as well as opportunities. And you know, we really created this program with both customers and agents in mind. And we are really committed to provide that best experience and helping you to do so. so uh, that's kind of, you know, the 30,000 foot view, but diving in a little bit more on the details, getting a little bit more granular, the best of Zillow score, it's on a hundred point scale. And if you get a rating, a cumulative rating of 90 or above, then you're considered best of Zillow. So that is like, you know, the best of the best you get a, you know, you deserve a lot of congratulations. And there's a number of great benefits that come with being a best of Zillow agent. So you're going to receive a badge on your Zillow profile. You're also going to receive invitations to our unlock events, you know, which are excellent trainings and seminars and conferences. You're going to get an email containing extra marketing materials. You're going to get preferential treatment for wait, being waitlisted on zip codes that are full. So that's a huge one, right? So best of Zillow really opens a lot of doors for you. So, and, and having that badge on your profile, uh, think of it kind of like a verified check mark that's on Twitter or Instagram, sure. right? It really helps to bolster that online presence and makes consumers want to trust you from the, from the very beginning. So if you're currently purchasing, uh, if you're paying for advertising on Zillow and you're mm -hmm. receiving uh, consumer leads, um, this is really important because you may be participating in zip codes that were the only zip codes that were available at the time. You know, it's it's not uncommon in, in you know, sort of uh, certain areas and certain zip codes to have a, a giant wait list for agents who, you know, we all know those, the, zip, the preferential zip codes in our, in our area. Right. So um, by becoming a, uh, by scoring really well here with, right. with, with customers, um, Zillow might even bump you up the list uh, because it, yep. it, if you, and if you think about it, it makes perfect sense, of course, why Zillow would do this because they want to give the consumer the best possible experience right. and they have to have some way of determining um, who's actually providing good service and who isn't. And all they really know it, but prior to this is that you know, someone's paying, paying for this, this advertising, but they weren't really easily able to determine the quality of that, of that realtor other than maybe through a survey. So, so this now, you know, puts it into a, uh, a score, just like the Uber drivers and Lyft drivers have. And, and also the consumers, we have those scores as well, but um, really just let right. Zillow know who's doing a good job. Right. Right. Absolutely. So here's how it actually works. Every time that you get connected with a client from the Zillow phone number, right? So if you're paying for advertising, we have a phone number that every time a lead comes in, you answer that phone number because you know it's gonna be a Zillow lead. So every time one of those comes through, we are going to send the consumer a singular question, just one question. And we're gonna ask them, were you happy with your experience? Yes or no? If they say no, then we are going to offer to connect them with a new agent. That's the only time we're gonna do that. If they answer yes, or they don't respond, then we're going to send them a standard survey 24 hours later. So 24 hours after that initial contact, we're gonna send them a survey. Now, very few people, I just wanna uh, stress this, very few people say no, they weren't happy with the first you know, first conversation with that agent. That's really doesn't happen very often at all. But note this, that one hour text question that we asked them later, right? The, were you happy? We sent it to them an hour later. 
that does not impact the best of Zillow score. Got it. They need to continue on to the 24 hour survey and complete it. So once the 24 hours has passed, that's the survey that really builds that best of Zillow score. So if someone connects with you and they say they did not have a good experience, that's not going to affect your score. It just means we're going to reroute them to a different agent. Now, to get the surveys, what we do is this. We reach out via text, email, or prompts within the Zillow app with a survey requesting additional feedback on their experience with the agent. And again, we send it 24 hours after we make the first connection. And we do that because we understand the importance of that first impression and how critical it is for setting you up for success. And, you know, DJ, I know some of the listeners can go back and listen to some of our previous podcasts where we've talked about how to have that best first impression. And again, you know, it's that asking for the appointment right away and just giving the consumer what they want. That's the thing that's going to really be the recipe for success when it comes to that first initial conversation with an online lead. Now, after we do that, after that 24 hour survey, we're going to send another survey at 15 days and 45 days. So think of these like pulse checks where we are checking in with the consumer at various stages of their home buying process. And we take all of that and not only do we build a best of Zillow score, again, that one to a hundred scale, but we're going to collect that data and based on the answers to the questions that they get, you know, the, the answers that they give to the questions, we're going to really build uh, a framework for the agent to be able to look and find ways that they can improve their score. Now, it's all private, so you don't know who's scoring you on what and how, but we're going to take all the information and say, hey, here's some feedback and some ways that you can maybe improve your current process. So it's a great feedback tool for agents who otherwise, let's be honest, aren't getting feedback like that right. in that way, right? So we wanna provide that holistic view on an agent's performance with consumers from that initial contact to close. And we really think that by doing this, it's gonna help agents get a better understanding of their sales approach and how it's resonating with consumers. And do you, do you have any tips for agents on how to improve their score or how to get a good score on the best of Zillow surveys? Yeah, absolutely. So first, it's important to note that the survey is only four questions long and it usually takes a, a minute to answer all the questions. So a couple things here. During your conversation with the consumer, Make sure to mention your name multiple times, right? So they know who you are. So they, when they get off the phone, they know who they just talked with. And also mention to them that the survey is going to be coming over to them. And if you forget to mention it on that initial call, no worries. You can go back and follow up with a quick text, which you should probably do anyways, right? right. And confirm the next steps for the appointment and what you're doing for them, as well as a link to your Zillow profile and mention that the survey is coming. Right. And, you know, you can you could say something like, hey, you know, it was so wonderful speaking with you today. I always want to provide that world class service. Zillow is going to send a survey to ensure that we are maintaining that world class service with everyone we meet. So if you feel like we did a good job, please go ahead and let them know. And if you have any unanswered questions, please let me know. I, I look forward to meeting you and, you know, helping you on your real estate journey. Something very simple like that mentioning it's coming can really help get more people to actually fill out the survey. Makes sense. So th that's one thing. And I'd say this, uh, for agents who really track that score carefully, take a deep breath, that score will fluctuate over the course of the year, right? So some agents will get that best of Zillow status and they might get a, they might get, you know, a survey filled out that maybe wasn't quite as favorable. They dip right below it. And they get, you know, anxiety. Oh no, what am I going to do? Uh, don't fret if it dips lower than you desire, because it's pretty easy to raise that back up again. If you remind your clients to take the survey, right? So clients have up to a week to answer the survey after they receive it. 
So you can even reach out to older connections that you, you know, up to a week ago that you were connected with. And what we found is uh, it's a snapshot of about 20% of clients are currently res responding to these surveys. So if you're able to increase the number of, you know, happy, well-served clients uh, that complete the survey, it's going to help you to take more control of your average feedback rating. And that's true. And also we know just from, you know, survey data uh, outside of Zillow, just in, in the survey world, we, we do it with our own brokers here. Um, and obviously we're all part of a lot of other surveys in our life. We know that sometimes um, people will fill out surveys when they're disgruntled on their own um, and, right. and or, or maybe when they had a good experience, but by you taking more control, a lot of times, you know, bad, uh, bad news, you know, spreads faster and people are right. there's more energy around filling out sometimes a, a survey where there's negative uh, sort of feedback. So if you're not reminding your, your clients to do that, you may just be, uh, un unintentionally sort of stacking the deck against you by just hoping right. that the people that do respond are the people that like you, but by telling it, you know, your, your clients, your, your leads, Hey, one of the best ways you can, you can help me if I'm doing a good job for you is you're going to see the survey. Could you please, it's only a few questions. If you could please fill it out, that would really help me. Right. right. Uh, absolutely. Right. So getting, getting in front of it helps you to take a little bit of control over, you know, what kind of feedback you're getting. Now, I wanna just be clear, this is different than a review on your right. Zillow profile, right? So after you have worked with the consumer, maybe you close a home with them, they can still fill out a public facing review on your Zillow pro profile. This is specific to a, a private feedback loop for you to receive as an agent, right? So whatever they answer is not going to be directly shared with you our system puts it all together and compiles it into a, uh, into a feedback that can really be useful for you to kind of like, here's some ways to make some shifts, maybe for next time, right? And this is a great way too, just to qualify for Best of Zillow because you have the ability right. to sort of it, not, not influence the response, but influence the response rate uh, by letting the, right. the clients know that this is coming. Right. Um, and I just have a quick tip. Um, th this is, I don't want to, confuse our listeners and viewers, but Chris had just mentioned at the end, this is not, we're talking about best of Zillow and, and the review system. We're not talking about the public review system, which we're all probably yeah. familiar with as far how we can look at our, our reviews and, and so can clients. Um, but if you are a dot loop user um, inside of dot loop, which is one of the coolest features in dot loop, um, and dot loop is, is an electronic signature platform, very similar to DocuSign, but dot loop is hyper-focused in, in real estate. Anyway, a lot of agencies use it. We use it for, for our uh, agents as well. So if you're a dot loop user, and if you aren't, you should look into it because it's awesome. But if you are, they have a review link. You can connect your Zillow account with dot loop and right in the loop itself, there's a little link that says, write a Zillow review and you can point your clients to that. Um, and it really, we all know how important those public facing Zillow reviews are for just social proof and, and also just, you know, uh, uh, making sure everyone else knows that you do a good job, but right there it's built into, but you have to activate it. So if you go into your, yep. your dot loop account, um, you, you can find a way to do that or you can contact dot loop and they'll tell you. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. So, so there's been a so, lot of great info. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 I was going to say, ahead. you've given a lot of really good information uh, for, for both Zillow, Zillow Premier agents, but also for agents that aren't yet advertising on your system. Um, any final tips that you think agents who are listening should know about having success with Zillow? Yeah. So you're right. I mean, we've covered a lot of ground. Uh, really, you know, as a brief refresher, Premier Agent app, if you don't have it downloaded, make sure to download it. If you aren't familiar with the tools, the free tools available to everybody, make sure you go in, you know, in a slow time of year, maybe it's this time of year, go in and, and just kind of poke around, learn some of the features and make sure you have all of your notifications, your push notifications set up. Um, make sure that you're not missing anything. I would say step one, go in and just open the inbox and see if there's leads that are sitting in there that you might not know about and then reach out to those people. So yeah. First one, Premier Agent app. Second, My Agent and Recommended Homes. If you are a Premier Agent, make sure that you're familiar with My Agent as well as Recommended Homes. Utilize that Recommended Homes tool. It's going to make life a lot easier for you. 
And then also, if you are advertising with us, best of Zillow, right? So really focus in on seeing what you can do to improve that best of Zillow score, making sure that it's top of mind for the consumers so they don't forget to fill out those surveys. But the last thing I'll mention, and I've mentioned this before, but if you are advertising with us or if you're considering it, what you want to do, number one, is do your best to answer your phone when it rings, right? So when that lead comes in, answer that phone. Our data has shown that if you're answering your phone at least 50% of the time, you're going to have the best results on the platform, period. End of story. So, you know, what we've done, DJ, in the past, we've talked through ways that they can quickly answer that phone, get on the phone, get off the phone quickly, right? So it doesn't have to take up like their whole day or they don't have to be in front of their computer. Just make sure that you're answering those calls when they come in. Because as we've talked about, speed the lead. The quicker you connect, the better. Yeah, thanks, Chris. This has been really, really helpful. Lots of great insights and tips. Um, and, and I wanted to make make a point here because we were updating the numbers uh, before as we were getting started because I want to talk about um, f- opportunities to advertise with Zillow here in a moment and, and um, uh, ask a, l- a little bit about that. But um, I was updating our numbers because Chris and I were talking right before we went on. And my old number was, and it wasn't that old, it was maybe six months ago. <laughs> Or so, yeah. and I can't recall exactly, uh, but we were at 100 and or Zillow was at rather 190 million yeah. uh, unique visitors per month. They are now at yeah. almost 240 million unique yeah. visitors a month. Um, you know, this is this is such an amazing, you know, that's like a, a 40 to 50 percent. My math is terrible, but it, it's around a 50 percent improvement um, it, yeah. or increase rather, not improvement, but increase. So yeah. this idea that, you know, agents, um, you know, need to realize is that so many leads and connections are being established on Zillow. If you haven't explored even the opportunity to advertise, maybe you talk to somebody who said, oh, I didn't have success with Zillow leads, or they were too expensive, or they were, I wasn't getting the quality I wanted. Um, you might just, without having any direct experience, just think, well, I'm not going to even pursue it. But the, right. the consumers are definitely increasing uh, they were already the number one real estate, most visited real estate website when we started six months ago. And, and now, you know, there are 40 to 50% more unique visitors per month. So the point is there are lots of advertising opportunities here. And there's so yes. many buyers and sellers who aren't necessarily asking their friends and who was who your realtor? Um, of course, we'd love it if that happened every time, um, but it doesn't always happen every time people are shopping online. Obviously, uh, the Zillow numbers approve that, and they have more advertising opportunities now than they even did six months ago, simply because of the yeah. sheer volume of, of users. Yep, yep, absolutely. I mean, COVID has changed everything, right? Mm-hmm. And it really is, I mean, Zillow in a lot of ways was the front door before, and now it just is the front door to real estate, right? Mm-hmm. Someone's gonna search for a home, they're gonna look on Zillow. And you know, to your point, Maybe, you know, their friend has somebody that they know, but the reality is they know that this market is hotter than it has been in a long time. And with, especially with these incredibly low interest rates, they're seeing a home that they like. They're just going to click contact agent because they know that, oh man, I want to see that home. Right. And so it's, again, the goal is, is to make that connection right away and give the consumer what they want. And we have more opportunities than we've ever had now in this COVID world with Zillow really being that front door. So yeah, so to DJ, to your point, if for those who are not advertising with us now and are interested, or maybe they reached out a while ago and the area that they were interested in wasn't available, things are always evolving, always shifting in every market. Go ahead, have reach out to keeping it real at zillowgroup.com. And our team will connect you with the right person in your area to discuss what options are available for you. So again, keeping it real at zillowgroup.com and our team will reach out to you. So for those of you know, for those who already are advertising with us and you know, you're hearing these my agent features, best of Zillow features and you're sitting here going, "Man, I really want to make sure that I know that I'm taking care of, you know, utilizing all these tools to the fullest." They can go ahead, reach out to their assigned Zillow business consultant who can go ahead and talk them through and coach them up on those features. 
So again, keeping it real at zillagroup.com for those who are new or interested. And for those long timers, go ahead and reach out to your business consultant. Make sure you're utilizing those features. Chris, that's a great, great place to wrap up. And I, and I will say as a, as a, as an admission, uh, now I, if people might think I am a practicing realtor, which I am not, I do, I am licensed, but I have a confession about, uh, my own, whenever I'm looking for property, I'm in the process of closing on a property myself right now. And even though I have MLS access and I pay a fortune for it every year, I, I really don't use it. I actually use Zillow, uh, when I'm looking for my own stuff. So guys, it, you know, everyone is using Zillow. So my point is, is that if you're thinking about advertising opportunities, reach out to them. Uh, they, they have amazing uh, analytics and metrics where they can say, you know, that one zip code that you really want, actually, we don't really have any opportunities there at the moment. However, there's a zip code just outside of this area. And it's actually, you're getting a, be a better value for your dollar because there's less people wanting that particular lead. Uh, there's all sorts yeah. of opportunities. Reach out to them. At the very least, they'll just give you, uh, you know, what options are available. And there's so many. So um, definitely check them out. You know, again, sh shoot them an email, which is at keepingitrealatzillowgroup.com. Um, Chris, thank you so much for for being on the show once again. We we love having you guys as, as a regular guest. Um, we want to thank everyone for continuing to support our show and also support uh, Zillow as well by, by reaching out, see what opportunities exist for advertising with them. We're going to continue to bring these episodes to you in, in 2021. Uh, and also, if you could tell a friend, think of one other agent that maybe they're new and they haven't done any advertising and they, they're struggling to find leads and you know, they might be, this might be a perfect episode to send to them to say, Hey, you know, there's, there are some other options out there. If all of your friends and family aren't currently in the market for a home is take a look at Zillow. So send them a link to our podcast. You can um, find us right on our website, keeping it real pod.com and also on Facebook facebook.com forward slash keeping it real pod. And of course, uh, continue to visit Zillow at Zillow.com and, and make sure all of your agent profile stuff is set up and you're taking advantage of all the great tools that they have. Uh, Chris, we will see you in uh, 2021. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, DJ. I always look but, forward to our time together. Yeah, I, I do as well. And um, thanks again. And for everyone listening, thank you. And we will see you on the next episode. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, DJ.